I went to school just to please my dad Developed some anger as aftermath I fell off the course while you wait for a Porsche I'm coming in late off a helipad I ain't got that money, my nose always running Yo, what is going on guys? Since the last video today was about my project, I felt like I owed it to you guys to do a real coverage video. And tomorrow we have a few mints coming up and one of them that I just found out about is Mystic Monks. So I'm going over Mystic Monks kind of briefly because it's kind of late in the day and I need to make this video as quick as possible to get it out to you guys or else it's pointless to have a video that talks about this on the day of the mint. So Mystic Monks is a 2222, so 2222 drop. However, there's going to be four drops, which makes a total of 8,888 of these NFTs. The price is 42, and there is a whitelist. It looks like 856 members so far are whitelisted. I think it'll probably be closer to like 870, maybe 880 by the time that we mint, uh, which is tomorrow at 1900 UTC. So that leaves about a thousand available for the public and uh, the art looks pretty cool. I will say that. Um, so these are kind of the, uh, these are the artworks that they have in their sneak peeks. I actually really do like this artwork. I mean, I've talked about how before, how I'm not really into art, but like some things just speak to me. I love stuff like this, like the colors really stick out to me and stuff like really busy backgrounds. I just love stuff like that. I know a lot of people maybe like simpler art and like focusing on exact lines and and like precision and stuff like that but i don't know how to do all that all right i don't understand all that but this looks freaking cool i really like the artwork um and you know i don't like 42 ada mint price for 8888 of these however they are doing it slowly drop by drop and who knows, a lot of projects have done stuff like this and given benefits to the original holders of the very first drop. So we may see something like that happen. Uh, if I am going to get into this project, it would be now. It would be drop one. It would not be drop two or drop three unless drop one went extremely well. And even then, I would have to really think about it. So this is a giant maybe. Only because whitelists are really going to lower the supply. Uh, the fact that there's only going to be a thousand available is, uh, you know, it makes me consider it. The art makes me consider it even more. But then there's no utility. There's no whitelist. Uh, nothing that I see of that. They do say that the point of this NFT is basically to have uh, the artist as the focal point rather than it be another project that the artist works really hard, creates a bunch of stuff. You pay him and he basically, you know, he goes down the road. So I do like that. I really do. This project interests me. I'm not sure how well it's going to do. It's a giant question mark in my head. Uh, if you guys know me, I literally make my decisions on stuff like this that I'm on the fence about like five minutes before the mint. So I'm going to be looking at how well the whitelist is going. I'm going to be looking at if the whitelist mint has been going well. Um, stuff like that right up until public launch and i'll kind of make my decision then i'll also see what people are saying in my discord because a lot of people have really cool ideas and sometimes they come across something that i didn't know so this project is a giant question mark and a maybe to mint tomorrow in my eyes all right so over on my discord looking at the uh, excel spreadsheet that we have cardano crocs club is also minting tomorrow which is a giant yes in my eyes because i am whitelisted and i would love to pay 50 ada for these amazing looking crocs that is a giant yes in my eyes. Um, Nifty World has three days left until they're mint. So that's going to, again, that's a giant maybe in my eyes. We're going to have to see how well they do. Metadams did partner with Yummies. So that's really interesting. Um, why is Metadams on here twice? Don't know. That's an error probably. Uh, Chibadango Heroes on the 6th. So that was one I actually forgot to cover in the, I think, two videos ago. Um, so, or three videos ago now, actually. So yeah, Chibadango Heroes, uh, 50 ADA. There's going to be 10,000 of these. I don't know how well they're going to sell out just because there's only 2,500 members in their Discord. But they do have a game coming up. And if people are really anticipating that and hyped for it, they may mint. And then my NFT, obviously, that was what the last video was about. And the reason why I'm covering this video separately so yeah, let's go check out Nifty World one more time. Let's see, how many people are in here? Total creatures, all right, so there's 6,146 people in here. How many are there? I think there's 555, don't quote me. Let me just check. 
or is it eight 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 something like that? Maybe that was because the last one's in my head. Come on, where's this info? Oh, it's eight thousand eight hundred. So that's a bit much. Uh, Nifty's looking like a pass. Let's see. Cardano Crocs Club is an obvious yes, but I want to see. The whitelist is tomorrow. The public mint is on the 4th. So I think my uh, Discord actually had it wrong. It's okay. It happens. Um, but yeah, these look freaking sick. Minting these for 50 ADA a piece. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, the floor price on these is actually really crazy. So let's go to JPEG. JPEG store. And we can look at Cardano Crocs Club. The floor is 358 right now. And these don't look that great. I'm going to be honest. Like their artwork doesn't look like fantastic. But because of the utility and because of what they're turning into and what they're building and all the benefits that you get by holding one of these, this is why they're that much. And this is why I constantly tell people that I don't really focus on the art that much. All right. And I want to take a quick moment to look at Metadams because they did do their partnership with Yummies. I just want to find where it actually shows that. Here it is. I think this is pretty cool looking. I'm gonna mute this. <laughs> he got the little dude. He looks kind of ridiculous, dude. He's so big. His head takes up the entire. Oh my god, it's so cute, but it's like, <laughs> dude, I can't take this seriously. Oh my god, eating at a bar. Look how big he is in comparison. I think they need to downsize him a little bit, but, whoo. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hadn't actually seen that. That caught me off guard. That's pretty funny. All right, uh, it looks fine. It's just really big. So this is gonna be how their map is kind of looking in this shape. So I guess you'll get like plots all around here. Um, that's what's gonna be on the fifth is gonna be their um, their land sale. So it looks like this powerful wind turbine, whatever it is. This modern dam reactor. I'm just curious how it's all gonna work. Like, this reminds me of uh, one of those, like, survival games or, like, last as long as you can games where you build, like, the, the reactors, which gives you energy so that you can power, like, the other things, which can give you, like, healthier air or something like that. So um, maybe that's what they're building, but another part of me really thinks that all this is just going to be already in the game, like, pre-built, and you'll just be able to use it. So I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. Dealing with the power sources, you'll have different types, and each one of them will give you access to different yield capacities. Okay, so you're going to be pretending, I guess, to earn power that goes into the power grid and helps power their grid. And in a sense, you'll be getting yield of some sort of maybe dam token or something like that. Let's see, once the metaverse is launched and when you landowners are connected to it, you'll be asked to delegate your ADA to generate your in-game currency. Okay, so through a stake pool, I guess if you delegate your ADA, you will generate their in-game currency, which will be whatever token that they decide to do. Uh, this parcel will be your ticket to the meta damage staking system. Okay, yep, so it's a staking system. Then use the in-game currency to build power sources on your land and start farming. Okay, so... Okay, okay, this answered my question. Um, In-game, Cardano has no impact on the ADA in your wallet. So, there's going to either be ADA in your, I guess, Metadam's wallet, but it's going to be separate from your ADA in your other wallet. Um, interesting. I don't know how that's... Uh, interesting, <laughs> I'll just say that. It's very interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's join their Discord because I actually haven't done that. And let's see what their Discord's doing. They have 8,300 members. That is amazing. At least it wasn't an airplane. Vertical river. All right, so over here on their uh, Discord, they have 4,317 lands available. The whitelist is on the 4th. The public is on the 5th. The mint price is 75. I thought 75 was maybe a bit high. However, seeing that there's only 4,300 available and there's going to be a whitelist so even less when the public comes and it's land and people love land and because if you go over to their preview you can see that their land looks pretty good their graphics look pretty good again I'm not a huge stickler for like perfect graphics I'm a runescape player you can give me pixels and I'll be happy as a pig and sh stuff so you know it is what it is 
the uh, the way that you buy these as well is you go over to their website and I guess maybe I'll just do it let's see do they have a link link um, website you go over you connect your wallet we'll go Nami we'll go here we'll go bibbity bobbity um, boom and then you go to the map and then you go to show available lands and then you can pick out all these lands you can not mint today but what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to select <clears throat> excuse me select this hit add to cart select this hit add to cart and you can do this for an entire nine by nine I mean you could even do this add to cart you can then go over here buy one of there you know buy one over here you can kind of go crazy do whatever you want to do so all that's left is this upper left area that's all that's left um it does look like a really cool project it's building i mean it partnered with yummy i'm leaning towards a yes i'm not 100 percent sold just because i'm broke 75 is a bit rough for me and i'm going to be minting some other things right before it but if i had some extra ada i would probably be trying to mint maybe one or two of these just in case uh, if you have a lot of money and you really believe in the project obviously you're gonna mint much more but is what it is anyways guys remember to get outside maybe don't even see your friends or family all right maybe you're mad at them okay forgive them but maybe you need a day away from them okay just get outside go for a walk get away from your desk get out of your room it helps your head trust me i haven't been out of my room in a while i'm gonna be honest and i got out today i went for a drive because i had to drive my dad to go get uh his truck because he, he bought a motorcycle and he's gonna try to to fix it and uh dude just going for that drive it was like 30 to 45 minutes out of the house my brain feels great all right Anyways, guys, if any of this content helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. Remember to get outside. I already said that. Peace. I get it like a G, but it never came easy. You got me coughing up a lung. I wish I rap like Wheezy. I keep my pace, so I'm sorry that I'm breezy. Keep my sneaks laced, cause I can't afford Yeezys. I don't want the gold. Give me BTC. Y'all be acting crazy.